Well, this summer we told you about a plan from Dayton officials to make taxpayers pay for better street lighting. So we wanted to know where that proposal stands this morning. Dan Edwards is standing by live with Mayor Gary Lysel to get to the bottom of it all in an interview you will see only on two. Dan? Hey, good morning, Marsh. Yes, we are live at Press downtown on Wayne Avenue, one of the great small businesses that, that we have downtown. And uh, providing our backdrop this morning with our mayor and our monthly visit. Glad to have you back on with us, Mayor. Let's get to a couple uh, topics we want to discuss. One, the street lighting issue. Uh, the city was considering charging residents for street lighting and tree removal. What is the latest on that? Uh, that one uh, is not going to happen. Not going to happen? No, not at this point in time, no. It, it, was, uh, it was decided that uh, we weren't going to charge our residents more money for something that we already provided. Um, doesn't mean to say that they won't come up with the idea again in the future, but for the time being, it's it's a dead issue. You know, we talk about being downtown and some of these small businesses, and, and a lot of the businesses that I talk about is economic development. What's being done to fill some of these empty office spaces that we see downtown? Well, uh, you would have seen in the news uh, a little bit uh, a little bit ago that they're going to turn the Excelsior lofts into condos, mm -hmm. and we've got some other buildings that we're going to be uh, turning into apartment buildings. I mean, we do have a, a large vacancy with, with regards to office space, but we, we've realized that 98% of all of our residential units are full. So there is a demand for housing. Charlie Sims proved that when he sold his 18 condo units or his townhouse units in, in uh, a little over a year. Mm -hmm. And so uh, we're going to move in a direction to increase the residential space downtown. Are you, are you deciding maybe free parking for, for to compete with some of these uh, suburban malls? Well, I think people don't realize that uh, in downtown, parking is free on weekends and after 6 o'clock. Mm. So, but why not during the day, all day? Well, we also have a lot of privately owned parking lots. And if we were to make free parking on the street, then they'd complain. So because they, you know, But if you get business downtown because of it, doesn't it all kind of equal out? Well, the reality is if we, can, if we can increase the traffic downtown, which will increase the property values, those vacant or those parking lot spaces will become more valuable as developable space, so they'd be happy to sell them for development, at which point, uh, you know, we'd reduce the footprint of parking and we could make parking da downtown free, but it's not going to happen until we raise the property values. Okay, we talked about the River Run project mm -hmm. earlier this morning. It looks like we've got the $4 million. Is that just a Band-Aid approach to some of the ills of downtown Dayton? No, uh, I, think, I think it's just another tool. A lot of people look for the, one, the silver bullet solution, mm -hmm. and there is no silver bullet solution. What we have to do is a lot of little things to connect the dots, and I see that as a tool that will connect the ballpark to Riverscape and Riverscape then to the Oregon District with the Patterson Boulevard uh, improvements that we're doing. So it's just one more thing to draw people downtown. And if we can draw people downtown, some of them will buy these units that we're going to be uh, creating and some people will uh, start businesses because they see the foot traffic. So it's, everything goes hand in hand. And, and there, as I said, there's no one solution. We tried it. We got the Schuster Center. Mm -hmm. Everyone thought that would be a solution. We got the ballpark. That's the solution. They're both very successful venues, but nobody ever connected the dots. And so if we can create the, the connections to, to link everything together, I think that that is going to be the ultimate, okay. ultimate solution. Much more to talk about with the mayor of uh, topics concerning the airport, Airbus coming to town, and the demolition of uh, homes in our area that uh, are blighted, and uh, ODOT shutting down 1st and 3rd Street. How's that going to affect downtown business? More with the mayor just ahead on CNews Today.